Listen, everybody. If you like this, great. But it fucking sucked, okay? It sucked. It sucked. No, Randy no, no, no. Orton is backstage dressed as a janitor. Now, let's just stop right there for a second. Why the fuck is this guy dressed as a janitor? He didn't get kicked out of the building. He left the building of his own accord. He just got his stuff and he left. Why does he have to wear disguise backstage? So he's sneaking around, dressed as a janitor, making sure nobody sees him, because I guess Randy Orton is allowed to be at Raw. So he sneaks over and he sees the Legends Lounge. And he takes, like, after sneaking around, he just takes all his stuff off, so he sees Randy Orton. He opens a door. All the Legends are in there playing poker. They, they look at him. They go, oh! Randy Orton puts on a pair of goggles. They explain it's night vision. He shuts off the lights, and you start hearing all this clanking because he's hitting them with chairs, okay? None of the legends are screaming. None of them are shouting or yelling for help. They're just getting beaten, allegedly, with chairs. There's four of them. It's fucking ridiculous. Like, it was so ridiculous. I know ridiculous. why the lights have to be out because they won't allow you to see anybody hit Ric Flair, but dude. So then he turns the light back on. He's in the exact same... So he hasn't moved. I guess he's got, like, extendable arms that he hit everybody with. So he, he goes out of the room. He starts walking. You hear a commotion. He puts everything back on. He pretends he's a janitor. He just points to the Legends Lounge. All of the geeks run in there, and he lurches off down. His dis He's still in his disguise. I'm like, what did the... F Why did they go to all of this trouble for a completely nonsensical promo? There was no reason to be in disguise. There was no reason to dress up. There was no reason to put on the disguise again. There was no reason to do any of this. Look, All he needed to do was sneak in and beat them up and leave. Yeah. I'm not... I can't of say all the things to overthink. I can't, I can't say anything about it. I just thought that it was like... It was just silly. But... You know, the end result is is that, you know, was the obvious end result from the beginning of the show is that the show ends with Randy Orton taking out all those guys that, you know, cost him his match. So in storyline, Randy Orton killed all of these guys. Somehow. They returned for, for, and cost him a match. Yes. And then he just killed them again. Yes. Because getting heat on Legends is stuff that they like to do. It's part of their M.O. You use the legends to draw a rating, and then you have the heel take them all out because it's easy heat. Just the same way that, like, if it was somebody's hometown, they would take him out because it's so easy to get heat on a guy in their hometown rather than get a pop and make everybody happy. It's just that's just the men, that's just part of the Vince McMahon rules of booking. There are different rules than everybody else has. Um, they they often. Perhaps most of the time, uh, there's a reason that nobody else has those rules because they make no sense. But, you know, Vince is there and Vince has his, you know, flock of people who are not going to question it, um, you know, and, and should they shouldn't anyway, because it's, it's not their job. They shouldn't. They can't. Well, you, Maybe you someone needs that job then. You know, what, what, he's going to, okay, he's going to hire someone who's going to go, Vince, this sucks. He, he's going to really hire them. I mean, these guys all kiss his ass, everyone up and down, and he's firing people left and right, and they all know it. So what do you think they're going to do? Have some pride. You can't have pride and work there. I mean, maybe you can if you're a wrestler, I suppose, but half the wrestlers there, how much, you know what I mean? Like, there's how many wrestlers there where you would go like, just, God, get out of there. And and some of them will, and and a lot of them won't. You know, the ones who will, you know, we watch them on AEW every week.